Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to talk about a subject that I'm starting to see more and more that people can handle, constructive criticism. I had such a lovely time with such a nice client. Kelsey, this one's for you because you inspired this video. <laughs> and she was so wonderful. It was the first time I've ever met Kelsey. And we just started talking before our session about the way of the world. And we were talking about so many different things regarding the way of the world, but we were talking about how people take bad news, how people take criticism, how people take, you know, how do they really learn how to deal with the hard? And they don't. I've noticed that people today are running away from all of this and life is getting harder because you're not dealing with it. I've noticed if you want to talk to somebody, if you have a question, um, if you want to say something, in, 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 in respect, if you're saying it in a good way, of course, but if you're even asking questions, people will challenge that. They cannot take constructive criticism. It's not somebody who's trying to put you in a corner or sabotage you or anything like that, but we started to talk and it was about a couple weeks back and she just said, Susan, what I've noticed is people they run away from the hard. And this is not helping us in this state of the world. There's always an excuse for everything and people just need to see the raw consequences of what they need to see. They need to see it for its truth. And I couldn't have agreed with her more. So Kelsey, you know, the, you were spot on what you were saying and I couldn't agree, but it's, it's interesting because Many times when I'm talking to clients and I'm telling them what I see or what they have to do, they have an excuse for it. Or it's everybody else's fault. Why is it everybody else's fault? When was the last time that you took accountability and said, you know what, I screwed up, you're right, I'm sorry. That's it, that's all you gotta do. I say sorry for a lot of things when I'm wrong, believe me. Maybe because I had a mother who never could say she was sorry. And I remember when my daughter was two, we just had the walls painted and she took a uh, permanent marker and decided she was going to create a beautiful mural picture on the wall. I lost it and I yelled, oh my God, did I yell at her. And then I, I remember catching myself and looking at her and I reminded myself that this child has only been on this earth for two years, two years. So what did I do? I kneeled to her level on the floor and I told her that mommy was very sorry for yelling. And I told her if she wanted to draw a picture next time to draw it on paper so I can always take her pretty picture with me wherever I go. But mommy would never yell at her like that again. But it was so important for me to say to my little girl how sorry I was. See, it doesn't matter how young a child is. If you're wrong, say you're sorry because you're teaching your child to say they're sorry. I'm noticing people today are dodging the responsibility of wrongfulness and that's something that we have to start holding people accountable for and yet when you try to hold them accountable they start going off on different things or they'll accuse you of something that you've never did or what the intent was. And you know what? The bottom line is face what you did, own it, apologize for it, and move on. This is very important. But when I see people that could never apologize for what they have done, I worry about them. But I also disconnect from them. Because this is very, very important. If you cannot sit there and own what you did wrong, your actions are important, but your words are also important. It isn't that you're doing something good, but never apologizing for it, but still being good. It ha it's a two-way street, and it's a, it's a two-part. You have to say you're sorry, and then, yes, change your actions. But, Kelsey, you're right. When you said, we're not doing the hard work anymore, she couldn't have been more spot on because I see this every single day with various people and it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. Understanding what you did wrong, it's okay, we're human, we make mistakes. But you need to sit there and correct that. 
not run away from it or turn the tables on somebody else. It's just not right. I see people doing this a lot every single day. I see it even with my clients. I see it with people I know. I, I hear it. Uh, it. It's just, it's wrong. It's just wrong. And if you want the times of today to change and people to own what they're supposed to do, you need to tell them that. I've noticed there's so many people that can't find real love today. And I look at the degree of people out there and I think I say to myself, I'd rather be alone than be with people like this. Because even people that are dating and then all of a sudden they ghost you have the strength to say, hey, you know, it's not working out. I thought I was ready to go into the next level, you know, to, to go further, but I, I just can't do it. Sure, that person will probably be very hurt and very sad, but you were truthful and you were honest and you didn't dodge anything. I see so many people, a lot of times people will make appointments and they'll say, I was dating this guy for six months, Susan. We had such a great time. We've never had an argument. And then he just dropped off the face of the earth. What, why did he do that? It's interesting, isn't it? So I think the grown-ups today have to act like grown-ups. And it starts with you being truthful and honest to what you can't do, and you need to fix that. And you have to fix it with you. Because when you see your life and nothing's really going on right, or if you're constantly alone, you need to think, why are you alone? What is it you could be doing wrong? Why are things going wrong all the time? Think about your track record of relationships with people and maybe it could be you. Maybe what you're letting in, maybe what you're not truthful about, maybe what you're dodging, maybe what you can't say I'm sorry for. There's all these reasons, but it's really important to do a self reality check on yourself. So learn to do deal with the hard. You know, this is a tough world. And it's going to get tougher and we need to learn how to deal with it because that's how we're going to get through it on various different topics of what's going on in this world. But once you do that, you're on the right road for you. Okay. I hope this has enlightened you. Thank you, Kelsey, for an inspiring message that made me want to do this and address it. So I thank you so much. Um, subscribe to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and more will come. Have a great rest of your week. And remember, own it. All right? You take care. Bye-bye.